Most of us know that heart rate zones are key for safe and effective aerobic training. But here's the catch. The formula that I was taught and that has been used for decades to estimate maximum heart rate isn't very accurate. In this presentation, I'm going to explain where the old formula came from, what the updated formula is, and why we prefer to start with the new formula when training our aerobic athletes today. For decades, the go-to formula was 220 minus your age. It's simple, easy to remember, and has been printed in textbooks, gym posters, and even in medical guidelines. But here's the problem. It wasn't actually based on a large scientific study. Instead, it came from a rough collection of small studies in the 1970s. That means it often missed the mark. Younger athletes would see their max heart rate overestimated, while older athletes would see it underestimated. The error margin was often 10 to 12 beats per minute, which makes a big difference when you're programming workouts. In 2001, a researcher named Tanaka and his team analyzed data from 18,000 people across 351 separate studies. They discovered that the way our heart rate declines with age is more gradual than the original formula suggested. The updated equation, 208 minus 0.7 times age, became the new gold standard. It's backed by research, tested across a wide range of ages, and consistently provides a closer estimate to someone's true maximum heart rate. For us as coaches, that means we can prescribe aerobic training zones with greater confidence. Let's look at two simple examples. At age 20, the old formula says your maximum heart rate is 200 beats per minute. The new formula says 194. In practice, 194 is much closer to reality. At age 60, the old formula gives you 160. The new one gives you 166. Again, it works out more accurate. This small difference may not sound like much, but when you're setting training zones, five to 10 beats per minute can completely change whether someone is at a fat burning zone, a threshold zone, or going all out. So why does this matter? There's three big reasons. First is safety, especially for older adults or beginners. If their training zones are underestimated, they might be pushed harder than is safe. Second is training quality. Accurate zones means clients spend the right amount of time building endurance, improving aerobic capacity, or training at high intensity. And third is the results. When members are in the right zone, they improve faster, recover better, and feel more confident with their coach and their training. This builds trust between us as coaches and the people we are guiding. The takeaway is simple. Use 208 minus 0.7 times age. It's research backed, more accurate, and it helps us keep training zones safe, smart, and effective. When you're programming cardio, use this formula as your foundation. But remember, while formulas are helpful, the most accurate way to find maximum heart rate is still a proper fitness test. This is just the best guide we have for a quick, reliable estimate.